What is going on, everybody? This is Major League Pops. That's Major League Pops with a Z. I decided to do my first ever uh, live broadcast on the Major League Pops channel. Yes, it is you know, set under private, so I'm going to release it in a little bit. But if you guys took the time to watch my last video, me and Minor Leagues did an epic Funko Pop hunt at Hot Topic using our, you know, Hot Topic cash. We had about 42 of them, so it, we, got, we got a lot of great stuff. And so that video kind of ended a little differently in the sense that, like, there wasn't a real ending because, you know, the ending, in a sense, is going to be me revealing everything that we picked up. But this video is about one of those things that we picked up, and we picked up the Disney Dumbo set. Um, minor leagues wanted to get it, and I said, sure. I'm really not sure what's inside, but basically it just says one piece, and uh, I can't really tell what, so we are going to be taking a look at it. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, but before we take a look at this and open up this bad boy and take a more in-depth look and let you guys know if this was really worth the... $32.90, but since we had our hot cash, it was only like, what, $16, $17, so that's kind of why I let him do that. Um, we are going to take a look at some of the Funko Pops that I've recently picked up, and I just thought it would be fun to kind of throw these in here. The first one that we got is from Fortnite. It's number 513. This is Tomato Head, and um, I, I will tell you, I'm not a big, huge Fortnite fan or anything like that. Uh, some of the you know Funkos that I've collected or started to collect, in a sense, uh, are just you know really fun ones, really cool ones. So when I saw this one, I decided, well, why not? Let's pick it up. So let's take this little guy out of the box. And this thing is just, you know, it's a really fun Funko Pop. So right off the bat, look at that little tomato head. That thing is freaking awesome. He's got his little pizza cutter right here with the long stick right there. You got the tomato sauce or the cheese or whatever, you know, as it's cutting into a pizza, it gets cheese on it. <laughs> it's just freaking awesome. I love his little tomato head with the little leaves, uh, you know, off the side here and you get you gotta usually pick this off but it doesn't come off or anything he's got a little backpack i wonder what uh, you know he keeps in there he's, got, he's wearing some shoes it looks like he's got some things in his boots right there um i can't really tell what they are but this thing is just pretty freaking cool so i don't know let me know what you guys think of this one so I picked that one up. Now, in this particular Fortnite set, you guys are already probably aware that it has 15 Funko Pops in the whole set. I will tell you that I've only gotten a couple of them. Uh, you guys might have already seen them on my channel, but I got Loot Llama. Now I got Tomato Head. I got DJ Yonder, I believe. Um, another one I'll be showing you here in just a minute, so I'll wait. Another one as well. So I picked up a lot of them, maybe half the set. And the ones that I'm really not picking up or I really don't care about are, you know, the, the generic or the people one, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like Dark, Vanguard, Valor, uh, Sparkle Specialist. I mean, I don't know. Zoe, Raven, Havoc, Burnout. Burnout's kind of cool, so probably pick up that one. Panda Team Leader, I've seen that one as a flock, and I didn't pick it up. But Tomato Head, I just thought was a very good one. This particular box, um, it might have got crushed a little bit, so this will probably just be an open Funko Pop because there's a huge little crease right there so don't like that but what are you gonna do so i'll probably just leave this guy out uh just because like i said there's no point in like worrying about the condition since the box is already messed up so we'll just leave him out now make sure that you guys leave in the comment section you know which one is your favorite funko pop of the set do you guys think i should be like chasing any more particular funko pops out of this line um you know, I, I don't like every Funko Pop. I like to try to collect, you know, kind of unique ones or maybe not necessarily unique ones, just fun ones. All right, so we got Little Tomato Head, so we're going to put him off to the side here. And the next one that we are going to take a look at, this one was just really cool. I liked it. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know the cartoon. Uh, I probably don't even know how to say the name, but it's just a really fun one. But we got, bam, we got Disney Star versus the Forces of Evil. This thing is freaking awesome. We got Ludo Avarius. I don't even know how to say the name. This thing is just freaking awesome. I really liked it that he has that little, what is it, like a little 
cow skeleton head on top of his head. It just looks really cool. Hope you guys can see it. There's a little bit of a glare. Uh, in this particular set, in the basic set, there are four of them. They got Star Butterfly, Marco Diaz, Tom Lucitor, which actually is kind of a cool looking one. I probably won't pick up all of them. Now, I will tell you, though, if I do see the other three, um, you know, I wouldn't mind picking up the Lucitor. So if I do see Lucitor and then the other two, I'll probably just get it, you know, just to kind of have the little set if it's not that big of a set. But this thing is just freaking awesome. I do like, you know the way skulls are designed or, you know, the dimensions of them. I do actually have a skull tattoo, the aesthetics of the skull. It just looks really good. So that's kind of what led me to get this one. The little cow skull head on top of his head just looks really awesome. He's holding his scepter right there in his hand or whatever you call it, but it looks like, it looks like some sort of bat scepter. I'm really not sure. So let me know you guys a little bit of information in the comment section about, you know, what this cartoon is. Cause Star versus the forces of evil. I don't know nothing about it. And I do watch the Disney Channel with T-Ball. Uh, it's just, I've never seen that one. So, you know, it could be a new one. could be an old one. could be in between. But there's a lot of things that, you know, just because I've never really watched, you know, I have a pretty decent idea of where it came from or when it was around. And that one, I'm not sure. So, I don't know. Let me know. Now, another fun one that we did pick up during the Hot Topic Funko Pop Hunt is, I just saw this one. I figured, why not? Trying to get a little bit, you know, different Funko Pops. Uh, this one's really basic, but it is a celebrity in a sense, because I know some people say it's not really a celebrity, but a lot of people are going to argue. I say he's a celebrity, but we got, bam, we got Prince Williams. And this thing, this one's just a nice one. Uh, nothing special, like in the artistry or anything it's just a really nice one he's in his nice navy blazer suit he's got his watch on he's got his medals right here it's just a really nice one prince williams uh, i think he's the prince of wales you guys can correct me if i'm wrong it does have a little small little crease right there on the top so that kind of bites but oh well it was honestly the only one there so that's kind of why i got it now, his mom, Princess Diana, passed away a number of years ago in a car accident, which was huge news. And he was very young. He was, what, maybe like 16, 17? He was, he was super young, so I can't remember. Uh, I, wanted, I was still in high school. Dang, that was like 20-something years ago. So, yeah, that should tell you. So, uh, in this particular set, it looks like they have a total of six. They have Queen Elizabeth II. They have Prince Charles. They have Diana, Princess of Wales. So there you go. Uh, they got Prince Williams. They got Kate, Duchess of Cambrian, which is Prince Williams' uh, wife, I believe. And then they have two kids, if I remember right. I kind of don't keep up on that kind of stuff. So you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. So more times than nine, I'm wrong. And then they got Prince Harry, which is his brother. So I just thought this would be a fun one interesting one uh and like i said it was the only one that they actually had on the shelf so i figured i'll take them why not right all right so we did take a look at those three particular funko pops now the real fun part is this dumbo set you know in the past minor leagues has gotten really mad at me for doing the unboxing because he wants to like open it up right away and i'm like no 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 i want to do the unboxing so i've kind of given in the last couple times and i have left it up to you know i've let him open it and then i would just do the review on the video and this one i said no so this one is freaking i i don't know if it's going to be an awesome thing or anything but i will tell you the cartoon of dumbo was a pretty decent little cartoon when I was a kid. I actually liked it. It wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, if you go back and watch it and kind of like think about it with like an open mind or what they were trying to portray back then, you can see the little disparaging stuff that might have happened back then that shouldn't, you know, wouldn't have happened nowadays. But uh, they did remake it. They made it into, you know, I believe they made it into like a few full human type animation using like a, a animated slash real uh, CTI uh, elephant and whatnot. I never saw it because for me, it's just like Pinocchio. I want to stick to the uh, original. And so I never saw it. So maybe down the line, I will may maybe see it, but I never did see it. Let me know if you guys saw it. Let me know if it is worth seeing. So the box itself, really nice box, very sturdy. And here we go. Um, I don't know what's in here other than I think there is a Funko Pop. So let me open it up to you guys. Hopefully you guys can see it because I have no clue. 
I don't know if it's a shirt, a pin, a Funko, just by itself. What? So let's take a look. Oh, okay. I did not know all this was in here. Oh, I'm going to, I'm probably going to have to steal that little pin. All right. So you guys saw all the goodies in here. Now I'm going to set this on my lap. So hopefully you guys can see it. The first part is it comes with the lapel pin and I love lapel pins. Ah, I don't have my scissors. So that kind of bites. So I am kind of doing this live. So there's not really much I can do for editing. So sorry about that. And of course, I don't. Oh, here we go. I'll just use my little, uh, or actually, this is a minor league sis, little army blade knife. There we go. Got it. I love lapel pins. I pretty much get them wherever we travel. So I actually might steal this from him. But we have, ooh, Dumbo the elephant taking his bath lapel pin so that is nice He's trying to get himself all cleaned up for the circus so yes that is freaking awesome i already have a bunch of disney's uh, lapel pins from when we've gone to disney so that is cool this one okay this one just looks like it's just a nice little pin has a dumbo heading on top of it or you know eraser type deal it says it's a hot topic exclusive made in china um yeah so not bad i probably honestly like if this was me i would never use it nine times out of ten these type of pins never really work but it's a hot topic exclusive so i mean if you really like collecting the hot topic exclusive stuff there you go okay here we go the next little thing i am going to see if i can open this it looks like it's a little pouch for coins oh yeah okay it opens up pretty easy here we go. The little peanut pouch. So, and then it has little Dumbo on the zipper. So let's open it up. And this is, this is kind of neat. Um, you know, take that out. Cause that's just garbage. I don't, to me, you know, I, I guess. Okay. So to me, I don't know why they would kind of put this in there because like I, I would think, and this is just my gut feeling and I could be wrong. Of course, uh, a guy or a boy would not use this for coins. I, I guess maybe a young kid, it could be good, but it's kind of big for normal pockets. But this would be like a cute little coin purse for to put in a woman's purse uh, because it just seems like it fit in perfectly. For, but for a boy, I don't know so much. I mean, I have two boys and I, I honestly can't see either one of them using it. Uh, my oldest is almost 17 then my youngest is six. And yeah, I, I couldn't see them using it. So I think that's more of a girl's saying. All right. All right. So that's garbage. I will show you. Okay. There's three more things in here. So the next thing we're going to take a look at, and this is actually really cool, but this is a keychain Hot Topic exclusive. Dumbo the Clown keychain Hot Topic exclusive. I'm not going to open this. Now uh, let's, let's see if I can open it up without messing up the box because, you know, I don't want to mess with the box too much. Um, oh, I just ripped it. Dang it. Dang it. Minor Leagues is going to be mad. So... Because I know he likes um, he likes these little keychains. He'll get mad, but whatever. Maybe I'll buy another one. But anyways, this is where like Dumbo gets, uh, I, I want to say, dressed up. They put makeup on him. He's got a little feather in his trunk that he's holding. And this is kind of where, if I remember right, and it's been such a long time, it kind of goes downhill after this. Because then people start making fun of him and laughing. And then also, as you guys can see, he has the big ears. So that is just cool. I like the keychain. I might have to buy minor leagues another one since I did rip the box. But that one is actually pretty cool. The box itself wasn't that great anyway. So, you know, um, let's see. See what I mean? It's never, it never fits back in perfectly anyways. All right. Okay, I got it in there. There we go. But minor leagues probably... Yeah, he won't even probably knows. Okay, the next thing before we look at the Funko Pop, there's like, a, uh, I'll just take out the pop. All right. All right, I'll put that over here. Now, they have this nice little canister. Looks really cool. It has all these little trains on there. That is like the train that Dumbo is riding on. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like is this big ass sticker right here. Sorry, excuse my language. Don't like this big sticker on the back. I understand they need a warning sign or something of that nature. Maybe put it on the bottom, but on the bottom, it does say Hot Topic exclusive. 
I see that there is some plastic here. So maybe if I take it off, it'll come off. Okay. Okay. Came off easy. And that's what I was worried about. Like if when, uh, there you go. So I was worried that like, if you took this off, would it stick to the paint and like ruin the paint? So it didn't ruin the paint, but look at that little train design. It looks really cool. And then, of course, it does say Disney Dumbo on the back, on the bottom, I should say. The Hot Topic exclusive sticker is still on there. And then on the top, you have Dumbo flying with his ears, his little hat, and his feather because that is how he flies. Honestly, I don't remember exactly how he became to fly. I just think it would just happen with the progression of his big ears. And that's kind of why I got teased a lot was because of being different. Okay. Minor Leagues is going to get super mad, but we are going to open this. I have an idea, um, and I don't know this 100%, but I have an idea. This could be his little mouse partner, so we'll see. Oh, yes. Yes, and I don't remember his name, but it is his, the little mouse conductor. But, my God, I am just dropping everything. It's the little mouse conductor, you know, the one that basically is Dumbo's friend and is also his partner in the circus. So pretty freaking cool on that. I like that. No, I didn't know that was in there or who it was. I just kind of figured that's probably the best guess. Um, honestly, I can't remember any of the other characters. So that was my only real guess. And there you go. All right. The thing that you guys are waiting for, let's take a look at it. But we got... Bam! A Hot Topic exclusive Baby Dumbo. And yeah, he's got his big ears. Um, I don't really see like anything fancy about it. It's just he's sitting there in a pose, like a scared pose. Uh, his ears are out. So let's see if I could open this up. Um, it is designed to sit like this. So it is a normal Funko Pop size, but then you're just going to sit it down like that. I'll open it from the bottom real quick, though. Look at the box. It's just, they did a lot of good artistry on this box. This is number 513 on the back. It does say Disney Dumbo, so not bad at all. So let's see if I could uh, open this up without, you know, messing it up. There we go. I'm still learning how to open up these boxes because I sometimes bend the uh, bottom of the box a little bit. Okay. You know, uh, tell me, guys, what you guys think. Do you guys like Baby Dumbo? Would you guys have rather had, like, like the clown Dumbo with all the makeup? Or, you know, maybe Dumbo in the bath? Um, I don't know. This one's cool. Uh, you can see the little blush on his cheeks right there. He's got his little eyelashes, big eyelashes right there. Love how the fact they have his ears out, you know, so he's not feeling ashamed per se to show off his ears because obviously that was the big thing was he had big ears and he was different and of course you guys know being different is not bad at all it's what makes us great as people having our different individuality so the fact that dumbo has his ears out actually pretty freaking awesome and let me see how he stands up you guys can't see he actually stands up really good actually you guys uh that really doesn't help but here you go ah he does stand up good. You guys will have to trust me. There we go. Look at that. There we go. So looks pretty cool. All right, guys. I hope you guys like the review on the Hot Topic Disney Dumbo box. Not that you guys can see it because my hand's in the way. What did you guys think of this? Did you guys pick this up? I don't think I've seen a lot of reviews on this on YouTube. So I figured might as well give it a shot. But then again, I haven't actually gone looking for it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you guys like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you can, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. This is Major League Pops. And Dumbo saying good night. Bye, everybody. See ya.